I'm Pixie Lots and you're watching me on Talk Sports brand new website. Hey. What you do and you're stuck Cause the one that you love has pushed you away. Technically I'm a West Ham fan and a Charlton fan. Because uh, my mum sports West Ham, my dad sports Charlton, so I'm meant to be even, but I think I'm more West Ham. <laughs> but don't tell my dad that. Yeah, had the kits, went to all the games. I don't really get to anymore, so I'm not really up to date with it. But yeah, we used to go lots when I was young. It was quite a family affair. I remember, um, I think it was Boxing Day. We go, we have like big family parties on Christmas Day and Boxing Day. And on the Boxing Day, um, my whole mum's side of the family, we went down to watch West Ham play Charlton. So it was quite a big game to see my dad so much Charlton. And if I remember rightly, I think West Ham won 5 0. And uh, my brother was a mascot for West Ham that day. So you got to meet all the players, and they were all really lovely. And so that's how we, my whole family spent their boxing day to go down and watch the game. And my dad was gutted. <laughs> no, I like we, me and my mum like Frank Lampard. I think just because when I was younger, I used to go to the games, he was on the team. And he was always our favourite player, my mum's favourite player. And uh, yes, yeah, so I think if you're a fan of someone, you just got to stay loyal. I would think about it for sure. Um, it would, I wouldn't know. How, I don't know what to write about. <laughs> It'd be a bit tricky. But yeah, I'd give it a shot. Why not? Kick up. <laughs> Um, not very many. I think I used to try when I was younger with my brother. My brother's quite good. I used to love playing football when I was younger. I remember when I was in year two, and I always used to play football at lunchtime with the boys. And I remember um, scoring goals, and I loved it. And I went home and told my mum, and she was like, oh, you can't play football, that's a boys sport. So I had to stop. I could have been a professional footballer. <laughs> it's quite emotional. Um, no, I wrote it back in February. Um, with Ruth Ann and Toby Gad, and uh, basically it's about how um, you, like, you get pushed away by someone you're in a relationship and it's over, you get pushed away, and um, this new guy comes on and tries to take you out and spoil you and, you know, um, yeah, treat you really well, but you, all you can think about is your old flame, your old love. So it's, uh, hopefully it's a song that people can relate to. Yeah, but it's more like they come up and talk to me like, just like, oh, can I have a picture, or can I have your number, or, you know, it's just stupid things. Yeah, some of them going for the kill. <laughs> if only I could let go. The tip, um, any chat line will do. No, it won't really, <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, not really, really it's kind of a mixture. Like, there's loads of young girls, but there's also loads of young boys, and there's older women, and there's... Older men. <laughs> so it's kind of like a wide range, really. And the first bit is the best bit, I always think. Um, but yeah, I'm not the best person at trying to keep a straight face. So, so um, yeah, when there was someone who was like delusional or <laughs> not that good, I was just, yeah, just I just cracked up. I don't think you can hold it in, really. <laughs> It is weird, I mean, you, we must have seen it on the TV, it's like, they actually think, I don't know, I don't like to say, but there are some people out there who are crazy, and I, it always shocks me that there are people living in this world with us who are like that. 